In 2017, when William Hinman was named Director of Corporation Finance at the SEC, he fought behind the scenes while in office to keep getting millions of dollars in payments from his old law firm, Simpson Thatcher. Hinman was warned repeatedly that this meant if he did anything as a public official that affected Simpson Thatcher, he'd be breaking the law. Simpson Thatcher joined the enterprise Ethereum Alliance, a group with the sole mission to promote Ethereum, while paying Hinman millions. In 2018, Hinman gave a high-profile speech declaring that Ethereum's digital token, Ether, is not a security. We believe current offers and sales of Ether are not securities transactions. The price of Ether immediately uh, took uh, off. There, that was uh, after the comments by the SEC. So, interesting market action there, right? Um, whoa. Did William Hinman break the law? Federal rules say that even the appearance of a conflict is a serious violation by public officials. How did this happen? Why was Hinman allowed to promote Ether in a speech given his financial conflicts? And how did a speech involving so much of the SEC staff that was certain to move the crypto markets fail to be screened for conflicts that would have been found with a single Google search? The crypto markets are in turmoil and investors don't feel protected. How can we have confidence in the SEC if conflicts of interest are left unchecked? It's time for an investigation. A watchdog organization, Empower Oversight, has sent a formal referral of evidence on Hinman to the SEC's Inspector General. Now they need to act. Only Congress has oversight on the SEC. Demand your lawmakers support an investigation. Connect to Congress today.